Okay, we're ready for part two here. I've been just sitting here admiring my fire. It's almost too warm to be beside here. But uh, time for me to get back to work. I had to go let Sunday in the door. She said her feet were way too cold. So, you know, she was glaring at me from about 10 feet away, and picking up one paw and holding it, picking up another paw and holding it. So, you know, it's hard to get through to humans, but she finally convinced me she really wanted me to do something. So, let's see what we got here. I've got, uh, let me see, these are, like I said, are the cheap, cheap oven bags, so they may be thinner. They may not work as well. We'll try it. If it fails, we'll get one of the more expensive ones out and try it. I wonder if I should try the expensive one first. Nah, we're going to go with this one. Okay, so I've got this bag, and I'm going to pour a couple of cups, I think, of water in it. Not sure how big this is, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And then we'll see what we can do about suspending it over the fire. Kind of above the flame, I think, would probably be a good idea. What do you think, guys? I think that's about two cups of water, maybe just a little shy. I think it's enough. We don't want to be here all day. Alright, now comes the tricksome part. Let's see if this is going to work. Now, what I'm thinking I can do is take this, put it inside here, Tuck it back through. Don't know if this is going to work yet, y'all. Like I said, I've only thought it up. I haven't done it yet. So this may not work. We'll know in a minute. Or two. Or five. The question is, is it going to be too much stuff tucked in here to let that lid go on? I think it is. But I have a second idea. Always good to have a second idea. If this doesn't work. And that's too much stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it off to the side here. And screw it on. Where it's thinner. Okay? And yeah, that's going to work. Let me see if I can do this without it. Man, that fire is hot. Back of my hand is burning. Okay. So that's on there, that's good and snug. I'll take this, and just for fun, I may just zip tie it. I know I got one here somewhere. I always have zip ties. The problem I have is too many pockets. Okay, I'll just tighten the knot. Got jute twine. That'll do. Fire is very hot. Very, very, very hot. But I figure it's going to take a while to boil the water, so we'll just see what happens. Now what I'm going to do, take a little splinter and poke some holes through here 
so that it does what I want, which is let steam come out. So it doesn't need a huge amount, it just needs to be able to vent the steam so that it doesn't rupture. That thing is tough. My goodness, that's a tough bag. I have to take the lid off to do that and poke it with a knife. integrity hold it up you notice I left the top of the can I did grind off the sides but I did leave the top of the can um, wide so that kind of holds things up and what I'm going to try to do now is um, put this little tripod I have made over this fire and I hope my sticks don't let me down. They're pretty rotten old sticks, but they were all that I happened to have in the yard. Man, that's some fierce smoke. Hooey. Put this through here. Now, I figured if this paracord burns, I've got worse problems than I'm... I need because that's not the idea. I'm not sure how close this needs to be to the flames without it hurting it. I think we're going to try it right there for now. Okay. Probably going to turn off the camera and come back while I kind of nurse this along, but you see what the idea is. See if I can put the camera in a little bit better spot. I guess the flames are kind of licking that. I think I'm going to raise it up for now. So that dies down some. I think that wood that I put on there has well and truly caught. Well. There are the cable ties. Other pocket, of course. Too many pockets. Gotta love it. Alright. I've got a neat piece of wood over here. It's kind of a, um... It's a great big knot. Or one of those kind of canker sort of things that um, pine trees get. It doesn't have any really pretty grain and it. it's too open, but pretty fat, it seems, because it caught just sitting over here beside the fire for me. That's kind of cool. But I better not put it back in there right now because it's already going. Great guns. And it's... There we go. Okay, I'll turn the camera back on shortly and um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my watch, so we'll see how long it actually takes it for this. I'm going to lower it down. Now, the flames have moderated a little bit. I'm going to lower it down, and we'll see how long it takes it to boil. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> 